everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you my most recent favorites I don't do monthly favorites because my favorites don't change that often let's just start I already have my eyebrows done I used this Milani precision brow pencil in the shade taupe and I have my eyes primed with my Milani primer I'm actually going to start off with my skin today and my first favorite has been the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have mine in the shade 2. And my most recent favorite way to use this is not all over my face, but like right in my under eye area where there's darkness. And I use my finger to blend that in. Especially right here by my inner corner because I get a lot of dark shadow there. And the luminosity just helps to reflect more light and the slight peachy tint helps to cancel out any of the discoloration under my eyes. Now that that is all done, I'm going to move on to complexion and I actually have two complexion products. It is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer and the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop or Easy Drop. I don't know, however which way you like to say it or whatever, whatever. Anyway, these two guys, I like to actually mix them, and I do about one pump of the Pretty Fresh. Oh, I have sh mine in the shade 4N, and then I do about an equal amount in the Fenty Beauty. I have the shade 2 in this, so it looks like this, and I mix it with my finger and swipe it all over. And I'm going to use a brush today. This is my it Cosmetics Loves the Foundation brush. I'm going to pick up the extra from my hand and blend this in. I really like to mix these two because the ColourPop one is pretty glowy and sometimes it can be too much in the summertime and the Fenty one is more of this um, soft matte or satin finish and so I really like how they look mixed together. I think they last a really long time for a tinted moisturizer product. And I really, really love the coverage that those two together give. It's not too much, but it's not too little to where you can see everything poking through, but it's not completely glam. I'm just running over with my sponge to really press that into my skin. While that settles into my skin, I'm going to go on to my eyes. My favorite palette recently has been the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. I have used this into the ground. It looks disgusting as you can see. But yeah, open it up and it's even worse inside. <laughs> there it is. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy today. I'm going to start off with the shade Stranger right there. And I'm going to put it as my transition shade and just really buff and blend this pretty far out, up and down, all around really. Okay, I'm gonna hop right next to it into the shade Cory Days, just with that same brush. And I'm gonna press this on that outer V, and kind of apply it into V shape and then buff that. Okay, I'm gonna hop way over here into the shimmer shade Mystery and I am going to press that on with my finger very lightly. I'm going to go back into that brush that I had those matte shades on and just buff these edges. I want it to be very soft. I'm kind of going to go over it a little bit to kind of make it even more subtle. My next favorite is actually a surprise even to me. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have mine in the shade Fair Beige. Um, when I first got this, I did not like this. The first couple of times I tried it, it was dry, crepey under my eyes, and I did not like it. I went about two months without using it, and I decided to try it again with an eye cream underneath, and then with this underneath, and I really like it with either of those two on. I have to apply something really creamy underneath because my under eyes are just so dry that they will crepe up even with this hydrating version. I just figured out a way I really like to use this. It offers a lovely coverage and it blends in with the tinted moisturizers really really nice. 
and it doesn't look too stark that I have a fuller coverage concealer and a more light coverage tinted moisturizer on. It just looks really fresh. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is from the first ColourPop brush roll that they launched, and it's the E21. I'm going to go into that first shade that I used on the lid, Stranger, and just run this all across and then kind of buff it down into where this little eye bag starts. My next recent favorite is the M Cosmetics So Soft Complexion Stick. This is in the shade Terra. It is a more contoury type bronzer and I like to apply it directly to my skin and then I press and blend it out with whatever complexion tool that I have been using that day which today was this brush mostly the name that Michelle chose for this collection is so fitting because they truly are such a soft buttery formula they feel soft on application they blend out nice and soft they're just so perfect I love them the next favorite is also from the N Cosmetics So Soft Collection. This is the blush stick in the shade Baby. It's just a nice soft pink. If you have a more fair complexion, I really like this color. Again, I'm going to use my brush and kind of press these into my skin. I think I'm going to add a little bit more kind of directly on my cheekbone because I like lots of blush. That is the cheeks. You can see this beautiful sheen here. I have no highlighter on, and I've actually really been into using no highlighter at all. If, if I do, it's like super, super, super tiny, and I blow it out and diffuse it very much. But yeah, all that I have on my cheeks are these products plus the complexion pro products, and I love these. So, so much. I do have a review on these. If you would like to watch it, I will put it up there. My next most recent favorite is another bronzer. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer in the shade Sunlit Glow. And I have really been liking this to kind of go slightly over the blush and just add a little bit more warmth back. And it also sets this area just a tiny bit. Not a whole lot, just enough to kind of give it that more golden glow. Okay, my next favorite has been this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Light. I like to take this Lottie London L.F. 010 brush and I pick some up. And then I swirl the brush in the cap and get that powder worked into the bristles. Make sure there's no creases, and I lightly set the T-zone with this, and I even run some in my brows to keep those lasting. I just press it there and along my jaw. I really like this under the eyes because it still leaves that luminosity and sheen there, and allowing it, the concealer, to last through the hot summer days. So I wouldn't necessarily do this in the winter when my eyes are extremely dry, but in the summertime, it has been amazing without taking away that lovely sheen that I really like to have underneath there. I think it makes my under eyes look very healthy and youthful and just very nice. Very nice, yeah. Press that powder in with my sponge. I like to do this between almost every step. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black per usual, and I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I went ahead and also put some brow gel in. I didn't. I did it off camera because it's not necessarily a recent favorite. I've been rotating some brow gel and wax products, but I used the Milani The Clear Brow in my brows. Next up is the lips. My first favorite is the NYX lip pencil in the shade natural and I'm going to just line the edge of my lips with this. I don't know if you can really tell a difference but I like to just do that to give my lips a nice harsh edge for the lip color that I'm going to go in with. Which is this. This is a Lux liquid lip from ColourPop in the shade Prince Philip. I don't know if they still carry this anymore. I'll have to look. I didn't check before I started this video 
but isn't a favorite because of the formula necessarily. It is a favorite because of the color. It is this nice um, magenta red shade and I have been loving it. So here it is applied. I like to leave my lip balm on underneath. I don't I don't dab it off or blot. I put it on directly over top because this is a more dry formula on me. It makes my lips crack and be all crepey and uncomfortable, which I don't love. But the color, I love. So if you can find your favorite formula in this shade, if you love this like I do, I would highly recommend. I'm desperately looking for a traditional bullet lipstick in this color, so if you have one, let me know down below. I would greatly appreciate it. That was my first lip combo favorite. My second lip combo favorite, again, uses the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. I went ahead and lined and filled in my lips with this color. I really love this because it is the same tone as my natural lip color, just a little bit more brown, which I love because it helps um, give my lips a more grounding element when I you wear more pinky nudes. The second part of this lip combo is a Maybelline lipstick in the shade Flush Punch. I know I have used this before on my channel. And it is so pretty. I'm gonna press this in with my finger and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna put on um, an inner corner highlight. I'm going to use a shade it's so fine from the Stone Cold Fox palette. And I'm gonna put it on the very inner portion of my lid, not in the corner. And then I like to take my pinky and kind of press to blend it into my other shadows. So this is the finished look using my most recent favorites. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet already, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you will be notified every single time I upload a video. I am obsessed with every single one of these products. Obviously, they're my favorites. But, um... Yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! The sh blah. Okay, next up. Next up. I want to find... Mm. Oh, gracious. Blah. I'm going to use the shade So Fine from the Stone... Blah, blah.